guys, welcome to Archland. So we are here with the English version of Archland in their Facebook page. And if you can see and recall this, this was yesterday. They already, um, they are actually featuring Michael. And um, from what I recall, once they feature someone, at some point, they will be dropping a banner. So take note, Michael is already available in all of the banners. She is actually in the um, the probability drops in all the banners i actually checked so but she's going i think she's going to be receiving her own banner i like the way she's designed she's unique uh with all the assassins that are in play in this game and let's take a look at her video guys and see um more or less her animations Um, I'm actually, um, I'm actually liking her, um, unique equipment because at some point her unique equipment can, um, can replace a certain skill of her certain passive. So again, I don't mind having her, um, she, as you, you know, as you level her up and as she gains more levels, she is going to be very essential in PvE. In early game, not much. But late game, she's going to be very good. Okay, guys. So here we are with Michael. So Michael is an assassin again, as I mentioned. Light element. She doesn't have that much of a mismatch in terms of the elements. Red, green, and blue. So she's not going to take a lot of damage from, you know, from all of the elements. But she does have a lower stat. Okay, so starting off with their unique passive. So Star Path, when above 80% HP increases P attack of 8, 10, 12, 15. This is going to be applicable to her. At the end of the action, gives inspired to all allies with the highest P attack, M attack. For my team, it will be Sighard and would also be Charlotte. So within seven tiles, so within seven tiles of her. So Inspired is increasing OP attack and, me at, and M attack by 20%, which is big. Okay, so take note of that. So for her skills, she's built in a unique way because she's an assassin, but she, she delves a lot in buffs. So for this one, Divine Spear converts two debuffs on self into, into buffs. So for those teams out there that really like to dish out um, debuffs, they will be converted when she's around. Also for this one, Precise Movement. This is the passive that I mentioned that can be replaced by the unique equipment. So um, increase damage done by 8% after attacking an enemy. If you still have movement, you can freely move. So the freely, free movement can be replaced by that equipment. So also for this one, she she does uh, gain mobility. So she's going to be mobile when she kills. So she's going to be literally be all over the place, supporting your team, um, killing stragglers left and right. That is her role. She won't venture far, I tell you, because again, that's not her role. Her role is to support her team, but pick off left and right um, squishy ones or the ones that she can handle. So increase physical and um, and and uh, magic attack by eight when HP is all below fifty. So this is another passive, and um, most of our passives are based or most of her skills have mobility, have free level movement. So she's gonna be very hard to catch because it's turn based. So also for this one, so God's, so she also has damage reduction herself so this is going to be good and also increase it and another another what they call this another buff here so grants allies within two tiles after the battle and increase again with 20 percent so she dishes a lot of buffs she converts the buffs to buffs she has a lot of ability kills whatever she does within the team and i'm starting to like her actually so this one is uh, consume three anger, use three skill. So gain one anger after deal damage to the target. So this one is 
um, give. I think this is her, her ultimate um, skill. So after battle, she recovers HP as well. So gain one random buff for every tile move through the battle up to five. So again, she gains that for herself. Okay, so this is her unique weapon, guys. This is one that I mentioned. So, again, uh, this skill is going to be added, and you can use another passive in you know place of that passive that I mentioned that was supposed to be replaced. Okay, so again, I'll do my separate analysis of um, of her. Um, for me, she's she's nice to play. She is going to be a uh, part of your late game for PvP, definitely. As you can see here, she's ranked SS. She's a nice debuffer. Um, a good team actually has to have a... Sorry, nice debuffer. Nice buffer. Um, a good team definitely needs to have a nice buffer. Probably one or two. Um, you can't go wrong with one or two. But if you only have one, I think she's the best one so far that I've seen. Um, I've been using Catherine. She's a she's a more of a debuffer than a buffer. Uh, I've used Avia so far, and Avia also has one buff for for attacks. But her, she has a lot of buffs that she can spread around uh, with increased range. And again, she has a unique ability for an assassin. Um, again, guys, I think at this point, if you are done with your summons with the current banners, uh, particularly with, with Semi and also with, um, forgot her name, um, the Defender, <laughs> forgot her name. But anyway, those two, if you're done with recruiting for them, um, I think Michael is going to be, um, going to be one of the heroes that, will give you long-term support if you get her now at least get one copy um i'll show you guys tomorrow on how to get more copies of your ssrs that you've gotten already so again um get michael i would highly suggest that you get her for your team in preparation for future pve matches because alone over devops of her mobility and that's it so I'm off to a party. So <laughs> thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.